What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. Today's lesson is going to be short and sweet. We're going to look at seven advanced ways to say in the future. They will help your speech and writing be richer, more sophisticated and varied. Are you ready to boost your vocabulary? If so, grab your notebook and let's kick off! So the first synonym for in the future is down the line or if you want to make it more extreme, we can add a long way down the line. So down the line or a long way down the line. And now let's look at three examples. The first one, there might be new cuts and tax increases down the line. There might be new cuts and tax increases down the line. The second example, I'm afraid traveling to New York is a long way down the line due to the coronavirus. I'm afraid traveling to New York is a long way down the line due to the coronavirus. And one more example, where do you see yourself five years down the line? Where do you see yourself five years down the line? In this case, it means in five years' time. Let's move on to the second synonym, which is going forward. Going forward. It's especially used in business and formal emails, but you can use it in other contexts as well. And now, a few examples. The first one, going forward, they're going to launch a new online course to meet their students' needs. Going forward, they're going to launch a new online course to meet their students' needs. The second example, going forward, I'd like to start investing. Going forward, I'd like to start investing. And another example, going forward, the company is going to open new branches in Asia. Going forward, the company is going to open new branches in Asia. Number three, in or for the foreseeable future. In or for the foreseeable future. It's level C2 and this expression means in the near future. And now three examples. The first one, I have no plans to move abroad in the foreseeable future. I have no plans to move abroad in the foreseeable future. The second example, Denmark will be completely free of fossil fuels for the foreseeable future. Denmark will be completely free of fossil fuels for the foreseeable future. And the last example, I hope there will be a coronavirus vaccine in the foreseeable future. I hope there will be a coronavirus vaccine in the foreseeable future. Number four, in the distant future. In the distant future. This expression is the opposite of in or for the foreseeable future that we have seen previously. We're going to look at three examples as usual. The first one, in the distant future, should like to run her own business. In the distant future, should like to run her own business. The second example, in the distant future, there will be only electric cars on the road. In the distant future, there will be only electric cars on the road. And one more example, in the distant future, most people will only work remotely. In the distant future, most people will only work remotely. Now let's move on to our expression number five, which is a long way away. A long way 
away. It means very far in the future. And let's look at three examples. The first one, my next holiday is a long way away. My next holiday is a long way away. The second example, summer festivals are a long way away. Summer festivals are a long way away. And one more example, cars that fly are a long way away. Cars that fly are a long way away. Tomorrow to go, number six, light years away. Light years away. It means an extremely long time from now in the future. And now some examples. The first one, when's your next trip abroad? It seems light years away. When's your next trip abroad? It seems light years away. Another example, a breakthrough in cancer treatment seems light years away. A breakthrough in cancer treatment seems light years away. And one more example, hitting 100k seems light years away. Hitting 100k seems light years away. And last but not least, an eternity away. An eternity away. It has a very similar meaning to light years away. And now a few examples. The first one, when are you going to buy your own apartment? It seems an eternity away. When are you going to buy your own apartment? It seems an eternity away. The second example, in my opinion, zero waste living is an eternity away. In my opinion, zero waste living is an eternity away. And the last example, living in the world with no wars is an eternity away. Living in the world with no wars is an eternity away. So guys, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this English bit and learned something new. If you did, please don't forget to give this lesson a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and do my daily quiz on Instagram. So on Mondays, I've got a grammar quiz. On Tuesdays, you can find a phrase verb. On Wednesdays, there is a collocation. On Thursdays, a preposition. On Fridays, British and American slang. And on Saturdays, there is an idiom. And on Sundays, I publish a review of everything we've learned during the week. So don't forget to catch me on Instagram. Thank you for watching this English bit and see you next week. Ciao for now!